already, but it has been a busy June. In total, over 300 players have committed in this month alone. The ACC leads the way with 80 total pledges. The Pac-12, you see them highlighted there, they're third in the conference race. But get this, new head coach Troy Taylor has Stanford with 20 of those 64 Pac-12 June commitments. That is 32%. I didn't need my calculator for that because it's right on the screen. It's already been wild, and we still have over a week left in this month. And now it's time for Fits for Big Commits. That is right. We have told you who they are and where they're going, but I need to know is it a good match? So today, Blair is breaking down fits for big commits in the Pac-12. Let's start with the aforementioned Cardinal. Big win in landing four-star quarterback Elijah Brown. He now becomes the face of the 2024 class and comes in with uh, loads of expectations. So how do you like the fit for this big commit? I love the fit, Emily. We likely won't see a lot of heavy set three tight end formations at Stanford anymore. Troy Taylor is now in charge. Elijah Brown is one of those serene and cerebral quarterbacks in this 2024 class. He'll be a really good fit. I think they like to do some air raid stuff, some zone read stuff, and he's got the ability to do a little bit of everything. He's got a terrific arm. He's got a great feel for those downfield throws and for a player that's going to have to make a lot of decisions and, and have a lot of that responsibility on his shoulders. I think Elijah Brown is that perfect quarterback to take Stanford to the next level as they change offensive schemes. Let's go south to USC. The Trojans landing one of the top offensive linemen in the 2024 class in Jason Zam Zandamella, originally from Mozambique, but he plays his high school ball a little bit closer to California. Still far, though, Clearwater High in Florida. So USC with a Sunshine State snag. How do you like the fit for this big commit? This is a terrific fit. I think he's going to be a pillar of front for USC. I think they like him at center. He's got the positional versatility to do a lot of, uh, of, of different things up front. He could be a cornerstone, though, of a, a more physical and bruising brand of football, which the Trojans are trying to prepare for as they move over to the Big Ten in time for the 2024 season. Center, of course, is a huge component of what you want to do up front especially along the offensive line. So uh, I think Zandamella gives USC a, a huge win, a huge cross-country victory on a recruiting front, but also I think stylistically is a terrific fit for the Trojans. Arizona's 2024 class currently sits inside the top 50 with 14 commits, the latest addition being three-star athlete Landon Bell. So how do you like the fit for this big commit? Another really good fit. I, I think this is a player who carries uh, a lot of different things in his tool belt. He can play some safety. He can play some wide receiver. I've, I've actually seen him line up at, at some linebacker in the high school ranks. Uh, but I think from a positional fit standpoint, I think receiver is going to be where he wants to make his bread and butter uh, down in Tucson. They've done a terrific job of developing wide receivers. We saw Dorian Singer and what he was able to do within the Pac-12 conference last year has since transferred to USC as a big name guy in the portal. You have T-Mac there leading the charge in Tucson as well. So I think Landon Bell with his length, his catch radius and his hand-eye coordination can give Jed Fish a nice weapon there uh, offensively. Recently decommitted from Washington, so a nice win to be able to flip Landon Bell there from the Las Vegas area. Let's fast forward a cycle to 2025 and Kenny Dillingham landing a quarterback in Michael Tolefasan. He is a top 20 signal caller. Turned down offers from some big time programs like Florida State, Georgia, Miami, Oregon. How do you like the fit for this big commit? Well, Emily, they nicknamed him Butter, and, and I don't think Butter does a lot of, of really good things in, in the high heat, uh, but I think he's going to be super smooth for Kenny Dillingham. I think he's going to be a terrific fit for what they like to do offensively. You think back to the quarterbacks that Dillingham had at Oregon with Bo Nix and the way he resurrected his career. Uh, they had, um, you know, he had a lot of success at Florida State as well with Jordan Travis. A uh, quarterback position is huge and a huge component for what the 
Sun Devils hope to do. And they missed out on some guys in, in this 2024 class. Remember, Isaac Wilson uh, and, and Elijah Brown were both high on ASU before they committed to Utah and Stanford, respectively. They were also in on some in-state prospects. Dylan Riola went to Georgia. Uh, Damon Williams went to Ole Miss. Uh, Luke Moga went to Oregon. So for him to pivot to uh, Butter Tolleson, I think is a huge win and a really, really good stylistic fit there for the Sun Devils as well. Butter. That is a fantastic nickname. I love, I, I needed a little drum kit after you said, uh, you know, might do, might not do so well in the heat. Butter is fantastic all the time. Okay, so that's the Pac-12. We'll run through the rest of the Power Five in the weeks ahead. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> 